Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. I wanted to talk about dust masks and respirators, so let's have a look. When I first got started, I was wearing paper ones. I mean, this is not a bad quality paper one, but there's some really rubbish ones out there. And these are the more rigid ones, you can see how filthy that one got. Then I decided to look after myself a bit more and get a proper 3M one. I thought this was a good one, but I'd read some articles about respirators not working very well with beards, making a good seal. What I discovered, which seemed pretty obvious when I thought about it, was air would take the path of least resistance. So if you don't have a good seal around here because you have some kind of facial hair or just don't have it attached properly, then the air won't be sucked through the filters. It's going to take the easiest path of least resistance through the gap around the seal. So it pretty much is next to useless. So what I changed to probably a couple of years ago was this JSP mask that I got from Screwfix. It doesn't look very different from the 3M one I had, but what the feature it has is push to check. So at the filters, you press this button in on both of them and it closes them off. So you can test if you've got a good seal, which I will now demonstrate. Now if you don't have a mask with that feature, you can simulate it by when you've got the mask on, having the filters off, covering those ports up and breathing in to see if it fits. I mean, that is nowhere near as convenient and personally, I find if things are difficult to do, I perhaps don't do them. We're always told to be safe in the workshop, wear safety glasses, ear defenders and a mask. but. As I found out, it's not just wearing the mask, it's making sure it fits properly and seals. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.